Another day, another two box penny hunt. Let's see if these two boxes can give us some more goodies for our Lincoln Penny album. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got another two box penny hunt. This is gonna be episode 35 and I've got boxes 56 and 57 in front of me. Now these two boxes are from my local DFW area. So hopefully we get a few more Denver minted pennies for the album. I wanna remind everyone that if you haven't watched the first 34 episodes, to please consider catching up on the series before watching this episode. And I always have a link to the playlist both down below in the video description as well as up here. For those of you caught up, you know that we have 180 total spots filled out of the 234 spots. I'm not going to open the album this time because those that are familiar with the series know where we're at. Let's go ahead and just get right to the hunt. Now, obviously, when I do my coin hunts, I use one of my coin hunt mats. This is the Lincoln Penny coin hunt mat. If you have interest in this mat or any of my mats, I always have links to those also down below as well as up here. I'll say in advance, I popped the top of both boxes to make sure I had circulated scents, and I do. The good news is I've been getting a lot of uncirculated boxes lately, so to get a couple of ones that I can actually hunt makes me happy. You guys know the drill. We're going to kick off with roll number one of the hunt, and as soon as I have a find, I'll be back. We're on roll number one, and I just cracked open the roll, and I figured I'd grab my camera in case. What I think I see is what I think I see. If that's a steel scent, that's ridiculous. But let's take a look. Oh, it's not a steel scent. It's a worn down zinc scent. 1993, Denver. Figured I'd better record just in case. Roll number three is going to give us an early weed scent. Our first of the box, Reverse Facing, 1953, Denver. Roll number 12, weed scent number two is almost an ender. And this one's going to be a 55 Denver. Roll number 13, weed scent number three. And that's a 44S, I believe, even though it's damaged. It is. We'll take it, S minted, and the earliest. Roll number 17, weed scent number four. A 52 Denver. We're on roll number 18 and I have a 1972 Philadelphia under the microscope and there are several different DDOs for that year. This one's got a lot of damage and you can see, I'll show you all the markers here. We've got definite doubling on Liberty, pretty much all the letters L-I-B-E-R are doubled. We've got doubling on the two, although it's hard to see, but obviously on the motto, you guys can see it's clearly doubled. This coin has a lot of damage, unfortunately, and because of the damage, I can't check all the die markers. There's three different DDOs that this one lines up against just on the doubling I can make out. The 102, the 104, and the 107. It's not the 102. I can pretty much tell you that because of the lack of severity of the doubling. It's not the 104, I don't think, because the die chips on the rim are not as present. And it's hard to tell because of the damage. So I think this one's going to be the 107. It doesn't really matter. This coin is severely damaged and probably would not get a grade. It'd get environmental with likely... VF details or somewhere around that. Maybe XF if we're lucky. At the end of the day, though, it is a 72 DDO FS107 in my opinion. It's nice to find another one. I'll add it to my collection. We'll add it to the finds and get back to the hunt. Roll 21 is going to have weed scent number five. And at first, I thought it might have just been a 59. But when I flipped it, I saw it was a weed scent reverse. And it's actually a 57 Denver. Weed scent number five. Roll number 22, weed scent number 6, 51 Denver. Roll 25, weed scent number 7, on pace for 14, and that's a 52 Philadelphia this time. 
Roll 28 is going to have wheat scent number eight of the hunt. It's another 1957 Denver. Roll number 36, wheat scent number nine. Another 1952 Denver. Roll 37 is going to have two wheat scents because I have one in the front. And when I flattened out the roll, I can see another one back there. Wheat scent number 10 is going to be a 1951S. And wheat scent number 11, a 1946 Denver. Well, roll number 38 is going to have a variety. I have a 1998 Philadelphia under the scope as well as a 1998 Philadelphia under the scope. In 1998, the reverse was supposed to have what's known as a close AM or the regular die reverse. A and M are touching. On the wide AM, they're not touching. You can clearly see the difference. And if that's not enough, if you slide up the coins to where the FG is, and I bring it into focus here, on the regular reverse, the FG is far from the building, so it's a close AM, far FG. And on the wide AM, the FG is almost touching the building. So we've got, without a doubt, a 1998 wide AM. One of the most common ones, this one and the 2000, are both pretty common. And in this condition, it's probably 10 or 15 bucks. But they can fetch $25 or more in a mint state grade. I don't know if this will get a mint state. It's got some environmental damage. But either way, it's nice to see. I just wish I could find the 99 wide AM because I've never found one. Two varieties, though, through 38 rolls in the first box along with 11 wheat cents. Pretty good first box. Roll 39, and we have a dozen wheat cents. And I already saw it. It's obverse facing. It's a 1941. Wouldn't that be something if we had the DDO here? And we have three varieties in the same box. And I'm not seeing it. So it looks like we just have a regular 1941, but it's our 12th and the new oldest of the box. Roll 41, we now have 13 wheat cents. A 1956 Denver. Roll number 46, wheat set number 14. It's a 1945 Denver. Just grabbed roll number 48 out of the box and it's going to produce wheat scent number 15 because there is a 1945 Ender on the bottom side. That Ender is indeed a 1945 Philadelphia. Same roll, we found the twin brother. Wheat scent 16 is also a 1945 Philadelphia. Well, that first box is hunted, and box 56 of the series was pretty good. Now, I don't think it's going to give us anything for the album for the first 50 rolls, but 16 wheat cents, you can't get mad at. That's a good number, although nothing older than 1941. We got two varieties, a 72P DDO FS107 and a 98 wide AM. Two varieties in a box doesn't happen often, although one's beat up and one's fairly common, still good to see. We also got 459s and surprisingly 369Ss, although none of them are the DDOs. Zero foreigns in the box, but we did get a lot of copper about halfway up the copper cup, maybe slightly over, and that's good for my boxes. Let me go ahead and get rid of this box in the discards. We'll begin box two, and I'll bring you in if box 57 of the series adds to the board. Roll number 52. Wheat scent number 17 is reverse facing. Pretty beat up. 56 Denver. Roll number 62. Wheat scent number 18. It's another chewed up reverse facing. 1941 Denver. Roll number 74 of the 100 roll hunt. And we have wheat scent number 19. And that's a 1936. It's a 30s, but we already have it. So I'm just going to check it to see if it has that DDO on it which I do not see at all. 1936 Philadelphia, oldest find thus far. Roll number 81, and we have made our 20th wheat scent. And this one is another 1953 Denver. Roll number 83, wheat scent 21, 
It's gonna be a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll 97 and we're gonna have the sixth wheat scent of this box, wheat scent number 22 in total. So kind of a light box. And this one's gonna be a 1958 Denver, our first from the last year they minted them. Roll number 98. We'd sent number 23, a 1952 Philadelphia. Well, we finished that second penny box. 100 rolls have been hunted. Second penny box is pretty much below average. I mean, we did get seven wheat cents in it for a total of 23, but the two box hunt is not probably going to produce anything for the album, although I will double check. We got one in the 30s, the rest in the 40s and 50s. We did get a couple of varieties, and that's always a good find for me. A 72 DDO and a 98 Wide Am. I'll take those all day. We finished with only one Canadian. We got eight 59s, no bright and shiny red scents, and four 69 S's, none of which were the DDO. We just about managed to fill the Copper Cup. I'm going to call that full, so I'll take that as well. Let me go ahead and check the album, bring you guys back, see if we have any upgrades because i don't think we had any additions well i have combed through the finds and as expected we did not have any upgrades or additions to the album so it still sits at 180 out of 234 spots filled and once again those 30s wheat scents have become my nemesis during this 57 box hunt now during the series at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to have times like this where we don't have any upgraders or additions. At least we got a couple of varieties for the collection, as well as 23 more wheat scents to add to the collection, and that makes me happy. Despite not adding any additions or upgrades, hopefully you guys are still finding this Penny Hunt and Phil series enjoyable. If you are, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.